All right. Now we take this thing, cluster, cluster, and you hold it by your two fingers right there, and over here, and this drops on in the hole. And you get it between all the, all the teeth, and it slips in like it's supposed to. And this thing right here goes all the way through. You gotta put a. Well, you want to put a good one on there? Oh, let's put a new washer there. We got an old box of washers. No. It's up to you. Jeez, you want everything. That's all right. Stick it in. Shove it in. All right, now it's gonna wipe some of the grease off. Somebody stole my clean rag too. We got one right here. That's your rag. Move my rag out. I used to have two rags. It's probably laying over that lathe over there. Somebody wanted me to go over there and do something once. I forget what it was. No, you had to go clean up the new shaft. Uh, okay, where's the new one at? The new one's right there, isn't it? Well, if that's the old one, then that must be the new one. See, so you can tell this is new by you compressing. It's soft. And it's round. <laughs> that one's old and hard and flat spotted. <coughs> okay, now you can put it in there. Not yet, you gotta figure out how it goes. Okay. See, this is the lock that goes over there. And it must yep. be in that position. It can't be over here, 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 or any of these other spots. So the lock has got to be. Alright, let's take a look at it. A little closer look. The lock goes here, and this here goes over here, and that hits against it. Keeps it from rotating. Okay. So you gotta make sure you put this in the right spot. So if you can't remember how it goes, take your felt tip pen, put that straight to the rear, and mark this on the top. Do that, do that again. Show me that again. <laughs> nope, I already marked it. All right. You have to figure out what the mark is, though. The mark's on should the top. Should be straight up and down, right? Yeah. You know how I know it's straight up and down? What is that? Because this is straight up and down, down over here. All right. Pretty Sorry, I missed that. Pretty now you know. So you weren't kept, you weren't paying attention there I'm for a minute. I'm falling asleep, dude. Yeah, I fell asleep long day. yesterday. All right, now you go ahead and put this in the hole. I wiped the grease off so this out here, the loop will have a chance to seal when you put it all the way in. Yep. And you make sure that one... All right, where's my rag at? I need a rag. Get the goop off my fingers. Oh, that's not toxic. All right, we got to take our sealer. Now you want to goop up the barren area, but you want to get you want to pack this shit between the uh, seal and the O-ring groove in there. Give it a chance to get in there and plug up all them holes. Which seal are you using? Just standard. I'm using my three bond sealer. Okay. You can use silicone in here, but stay off the barren area. Goop and bearings don't mix. No. They don't like each other for some reason. <coughs> All right, now we got to slip this thing here between that half and the case. Now, if you look at this, this was eaten against the gear and this was eaten against the case. Because see the little small diameter? Yep. So these get worn. So when we put this in, we put it in the same way it came out. So, flip that up. Shaft dropped, right? Yep. yep. This goes in here. Between the case and the bushing there. Okay. And look over here. Look over here. That hole in there? Yep. See the washer? All right, look at that. Just slide it over. Put it in the middle where it belongs. Okay. Maybe over here. And bring the shaft up. Figure what I mark is. I don't see it over there. There's my flat spot right there. Mm -hmm. Now, see the see the hard hit. Yeah. Titting on the washer. So I got to figure out where the washer is overhanging. Dark to see in there. There it is. Mm 
Hmm. Not yet. It's still overhanging. Close fit, huh? Well, if I had some damn light that worked, it would help. Nothing like looking at a dark hole. I'll hold the flashlight. Trying to see something you can't see. You know, you notice I keep going this way well, and you keep going further? Well, I'm trying to I'm get. I have to be empty. I'm, I'm running the camera and the light simultaneously. So. Okay, I'm doing all this over here, so we're equal. See, there's the washer hanging up right there. Now you can see it. It still isn't going, though. It's being a pain. Well, they just drop right in. Hmm. Not helping. I'm not helping. Oh, you're not helping at all. See, I got to put it down, make an adjustment. I can't see at all what I'm doing. And then I come back up and look at it. So you don't force it, you just do it. Double check it up here. Okay, so the rings now has hit the edge right there. Right. And you gotta kinda push it past it. Which usually shears it off. That's why you put all the other sealer there. So what I do is I try to pack it in there a little bit and try to not destroy it completely. Which rarely helps. But it makes me feel better. It ain't going. So you just go, boop. And it's in. It's in. And there'll be a nice piece of rubber we didn't need. See the rubber we didn't need? Yep. Shaved it off. Yep. <coughs> That's what they make goop for. But this one doesn't matter because it has a cover over here that secondary seal. See, the old bikes, they didn't have that O-ring at all. That's new stuff. So you could actually run it without the cover if the O-ring worked. But in this case, the O-ring didn't work too good, but that's normal. That's why we have all the goop on it.